Scouty here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a classically roasted chicken. I like to use the Green Circle Chicken from D'Artagnan. You can buy these online, and they are sustainably grown, organic, and the most delicious chicken I have ever tasted. So now let's get on to roasting it. First, inside your chicken you may find little things like this. These are the gizzards and the chicken neck. Instead of just getting rid of these, you can use these to make a nice pan gravy. Once the chicken comes out of the oven, take all those juices, sear them with these gizzards, and you'll make a really delicious, savory gravy. So first, when you go to roast a chicken, you wanna make sure to take your chicken out of the package the night before. Put it on a roasting rack like I have here that elevates the chicken up a little bit, and then you're gonna put it in your fridge overnight. This dries out the chicken. As you can see, the skin here is pretty dry. You want that in order to get a nice, crispy, crunchy skin once you roast it. Once the chicken is dried out overnight, take it out. And my secret ingredient in a roasted chicken is soy sauce or tamari. I like to use tamari in case you have any friends that you're having over that may be gluten-free. Tamari is just safe for everybody. I brush this on the chicken with a pastry brush. Make sure to set aside your meat brush from your pastry brushes that you're using for muffins and cakes. That way you don't have any cross-contamination. So I'm just evenly brushing the tamari on here. This will not only add some seasoning, but it'll actually add some color while you roast your chicken. So you wanna make sure to get all over the bird in all the crevices. So lift the leg up, get right in the little armpits there. And then you're actually gonna flip your bird over and do the same thing on the other side. Get it all over that skin. Once we have the tamari brushed all over the chicken, we're gonna do something called trussing the chicken. This is really just tying the chicken and holding it all together. The reason we do this is because the chicken has different size parts and it helps the chicken to cook a little bit more even so one part is not drier than the other. I actually learned this while working as a professional chef in the restaurant industry. I'm gonna give you an overview right now of how to truss. Before a more detailed step-by-step -step tutorial, check out my other video of how to truss a chicken. So to start, you need butcher's twine. You can find butcher's twine at your local grocery store, a hardware store, or online. So to truss the chicken, you wanna wrap this string around the neck here in order to secure it. All right, once you have it crossed there, you wanna tuck your wings in and tie the string over the wings. And then you're gonna take the string under the breast and crisscross it in front of the breast. The breast will look like a little heart and that's exactly what you want. You're gonna take that and tie it really tight so that the breasts plump up and make the skin stretch a little bit. Once that's done, you wanna lift your legs up here, cross them on the top, and make a little knot up there. That way everything stays tight. And then I like to take the little end here and tie that up as well. That way it's a closed cavity. Now some people say if you truss a chicken properly, you should be able to drop it from up here onto the counter without it breaking. May have been a myth in culinary school, but that's what people told me. We have a nice, tight little package here, and that's exactly what you're looking for before you throw it in the oven. Now for the roasting part. You wanna make sure your oven is set at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And depending on the size of your chicken, it'll take about 40, 45 minutes. This guy's about three to four pounds. You can also look for a internal temperature of 165 degrees. To get that temperature, you're gonna stick the thermometer in the largest part of the chicken, and which is right up here by the leg and breast, and you'll get the proper reading. Make sure before you put your chicken in the oven, your chicken is breast side up, so you want the breast facing up. And just like that, you've almost mastered a classically roasted chicken. You just gotta wait 40 to 45 minutes. 